You guys, look, look, I'm a walrus. <laughs> well, what about if Abraham Lincoln was involved? Well, that'd be kind of weird. <laughs> Isn't he dead? But my mom packed me something really good. Yeah, back where I'm from, she was like a Michelin star chef. She probably got me like lobster or like steak or something. I brought raw pasta, <laughs> my favorite. Okay. Now, how do we find the ghost? Is there like a phone number we call or like a secretary? <gasps> Were we supposed to make an appointment? Oh, um, I was just collecting worms for my lizard. He's trying a new, more sustainable diet. <laughs> oh, wow, really? That's so cool. Really? Because yesterday you said that having a pet lizard was more embarrassing than the time in the second grade that I was making a sculpture out of Bill Nye the Science Guy exclusively out of used gumballs that I found on the floor of the 7-Eleven. Oh my god, you guys, career exploration day is like the biggest day of the school year. This test is going to tell you exactly what you're destined to be when you grow up. It's like a zodiac sign, but for capitalism. I hope I get a cool job, like selling presets on Etsy. Yeah, I try not to get into fads too much. Usually it's just a self-defeating cycle of consumerism where you trace a trend for a fleeting moment of popularity and waste all of your money on things with no intrinsic value that lose all sense of social capital as soon as they go out of style. I don't really know what you just said, but that's such a good point. So how about you and I make something else cool? Thomas, Thomas, wake up. You fell asleep in your mashed potatoes. What? Oh, sorry guys. Mr. Frenzel has me exhausted with all these rehearsals. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm a stable hand. Oh, you got a cool job. You get to clean up horse poop. We could get in a lot of trouble for being down here. Yeah, well, I just really wanted to meet the ghost. That's all? Well, last month we lost my grandma and Halloween used to be our thing because she would always come visit then and she would take me trick-or-treating and we'd watch scary movies together and usually I don't like scary movies very much, but they weren't so bad when she was there and I just really miss her. And I thought the ghost might know her and could let me know that she made it to the other side okay, because she got lost a lot when she was on Earth. Oh, I'm sorry, Thomas. Like, one time she was supposed to go to Albuquerque, but she got on the wrong plane and she went to Australia by accident. <laughs> I miss her. I'm gonna be royalty, but it's like not even a costume for me because back where I'm from, I was like three relatives away from the throne. Yeah. In Sacramento? <laughs> What's that? It's the coolest new thing. Everything looks like an office supply, but it's really a toy. It's supposed to indoctrinate us into the working world or something. <laughs> Mine's a used pack of batteries. It is here. Hi, Mr. Ghost. Uh, we, we just wanted to come say hi. I, I bet you get pretty lonely down here. Yeah, pretty lonely when I'm not feasting on the souls of children. Oh, that's so smart. I bet they're pretty low calorie. I should tell my mom about that. She's been trying to diet, but she's just been drinking Slim Fast. I wish you would have gotten the lead. You're so confident. Even when people aren't nice to you, you never give up. I wish I could be more like you. Thomas, don't say that. You're so kind. Like, remember that one time in science class that you said all the frogs that we were supposed to dissect free? Yeah, half of them ended up as roadkill, so I guess that wasn't my best plan, but I tried. Well, what did you think, Tank? Aren't my kids stars? Yeah, <laughs> how did I do? You've got a very bright future in local insurance commercials, kid. Whoa, local insurance. <laughs> cool.